Hey guys, Brick Creations here and welcome to the finale where now I'm going to be giving you a complete tour of the completed mock. So here it is. So I guess I'll just give you a quick rundown of how things work because I will be releasing more of a cinematic video where everything goes into a little bit more detail. But for the most part here we have Dale and you can see that I did destroy parts of it because I wanted to give that effect to make it look like it had just been wiped through by the dragon, of course, which it had. Now, I might also say that the scene I'm trying to recreate is that of which Smog is just about to come and run down the doors of Erebor after the scenes of which he flew through Dale. So, a little bit more detail, I try to put as much stuff into here as I could. You can see I did kind of blow up these buildings right here. Here we have a kid who is falling or about to fall from a window. We have some few scenes of someone getting stuck under some rubble, people running around, things like that. This one was pretty iconic to me. I try to recreate that scene where uh, Bard the Bowman's ancestor is standing on top of that tower trying to shoot the dragon. And of course, I do not have the wind lance, but I think this will do quite well. And I think it turned out really nice. Uh, we also have a kid running into a building here. Uh, not that much else going on around here. Mainly, I just wanted to give the idea that it had just been attacked, and I think I did that quite well. Moving over here, you can see that I did put all the trees in, and I think that looks really good. We do have a few people right here running away, but I think the main center of this mock is going to be the dragon, of course, as he goes and attacks Erebor itself. If I get a little closer, you guys can see the doors arming themselves right there on the battlements, I suppose you call it where they are about to defend the castle or kingdom, I suppose you can call it. So moving on to the back, you can see that it now is pretty complete. Over here is going to be the forges area, which looks really, really good. I'm not sure if I've already covered this, but here is that little winch thing that goes down, collects gold, moves up and goes across like that. Uh, I try to make this as much of a rock wall as I could, but I didn't want to put too many pieces in it. I think it would kind of obstruct from the actual mock itself, but I did put specks of gold everywhere and I think that turned out really cool. Over here that is kind of like a gold pot where they are melting the gold, I'm not exactly sure of the name right there. And here's just a better look down here and I think it turned out really, really cool. Now moving out into the middle, you can see that I did completely finish everything off here. And the scene that I'm trying to recreate, of course, is where they are defending. So I've got a bunch of troops right here about to see what happens when Smaug knocks down the door. Of course, they don't know that they're about to be, well, smashed down, but it does look really nice. You can see that I did use figures such as Dane and Dwalin and stuff, but I'm sure it won't be that big of a deal. Now you can did see I tried to put some gold in here splattered around, but I didn't want them everywhere I think that would detract from the mock. See right here this is supposed to be Thrain I believe his name is or actually Thor sorry where he's trying to steal the Arkansas or not really steal it but try to escape with it as he leaves the kingdom because he knows Smaug is here to take it and over here you can see I did completely finish off these uh, interior filler brick walls with some rocks and I think that turned out really good. And then a little kind of, not easter egg, but a little kind of gimmick in here. I did put a dwarf kind of swimming in the gold right there and I think that turned out really nice. Over here you might remember that I didn't have anything on top of here. I'm not exactly sure if this was even done last week. But this is going to be my armory section. I think it was more something just to fill the space. I think it turned out really nice. You can see we just have some uh, spears right here, helmets, axes swords, some more larger axes, and some chest plates right there. So I think that turned out really good. And then also, if we move down here, you can see the inside of these two rooms. This room right here, where you can see Bilbo back there. It's not actually supposed to be Bilbo, but it's just another dwarf. This is more of a kitchen type room, or a banquet hall, you might call it. You can see some goblets over there. And then right here, we have some food on the table, things like that. Now this room is supposed to be more of a library or study room and you can just see a little bit of crystal lying there on the floor because you know Erebo that happens all the time. We have another Bilbo, however that's supposed to be just another dwarf. And then you have some books and things on the wall. 
So there you go, guys. That is a quick rundown of this mock. Hope you enjoyed it. Now, please make sure to stay tuned until Wednesday, for which I will be having the cinematic release, which you'll see some really awesome shots of this mock, and I hope that it turns out really good. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.